Hello and welcome to Reddit on Reddit, the internet's auditory version of Reddit. I'm Nelson Allingham, joined by Michael Cambo Campbell. Hey Nelson, you've dropped the conceit of every week doing a different accent, a different character. Well, I'm not your monkey, Cambo. <laughs> I realised that I had dug myself a hole mm. where I was going to have to do that I told you that episode, why? And you were going to hold me accountable, so yeah. I thought I'd just stop. <laughs> can I can I point out something I noticed just mere seconds uh, before we I, press record? I feel like we're going to have the same yeah. thought. You're wearing, with what I'm wearing. Yeah. You're wearing a, a pretty cool leather jacket, Nelson. Yeah, yeah. It's so that the coolness comes through. Yeah, yeah. The sound. But I'm fine with the coolness. Yeah. It's a very loud leather it's jacket. Very loud. <laughs> it's like I can't even. It's, it's just like kinda, squeaky. It's, yeah, it is squeaky. It's a bit squeaky. Just before I, I pressed the button to start the theme, to start the show, yeah. my last thought was, what is that? <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. I hit it and then I looked at you and you were looking kind of insecure. And you, <laughs> you kind of stopped moving. I'm like, oh no, he's got a squeaky jacket. Yeah. But... You look cool. It's very important that listeners yeah, yeah. know. <laughs> I'm I, wearing yeah. a leather, cool leather jacket. Yeah, they can't see me, but I also look cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I will say this: you've put in more of an effort than me uh, with what you're wearing. You did that. You did do something cool. Actually, that when you went to start the themes, you did like the Fonz sort of smack of the jukebox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just smacked the iPad, and it worked. So and in that fact, was fun cool. fact: I actually dressed down. I oh, was wow. dressed quite nicely. Yeah, you were. And then I got dressed worse. Yes, you're now a shame. <laughs> uh, Canvas, should we get into it? Oh, right. I, I'm not used to this, but I love it, Nelson. I love the momentum. Okay. Well, we, we, we could talk about Nelson no, I, for a little bit longer. No, no, no. People don't like it. <laughs> uh, Cambo, so I'm going to start this one mm -hmm. with something which will you, you'll feel like you want to press the intro for this. Segment, okay. I, but I, don't. I, I'm telling I, you now, don't. I never would. Okay. I never have, and yeah. I never would. Because this was from the Ask Reddit oh, segment. Oh, I've got a thing for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we've got the Ask Reddit segment later. Yeah. So uh, so this is the Reddit on Reddit segment where I choose something a little bit more random. It doesn't fit into a category. So to be clear, there's yeah. an Ask Reddit to come. Yeah. This is Reddit on Reddit, Yeah, but it is an Ask Reddit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hope you're keeping notes at home. <laughs> Right, right, right. Uh, so this and you're not you're not phoning this weekend, no, you Nelson. This <laughs> no, this was look. Okay, just shut up for okay. a second. <laughs> this was <laughs> this is my ultimate. I didn't realize that this was your name until like three seconds before the start of the show. It's a squeaky jacket this situation my, all over again. It's my ultimate cock slayer. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this could, my, be, could be her name. One of my favorite things is because name. last time you didn't read on fully. Yeah. We got uh, You Can Smell the Future, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. Um, but uh, Ultimate Coxlair asks <laughs> <laughs> What sounds like fiction, but is actually a real historical event? Uh, obviously, I have one here. Mm -hmm. Um, which I thought was really fascinating as I was reading through it. Um, but I thought maybe if you'd like, you could answer the Ask Reddit if, you've, if okay. you have an example yourself. I have an example, but I must stress that I only know the broad strokes of it. Okay. So it will if, if this interests people, yeah. uh, it will require them doing more of their own independent research about it. Okay. But I do know that the Australian army yeah. got into a battle with yes. emus. Ah, yes. Yep. And they lost. The uh, emus yeah. won the battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yes. Okay. <laughs> Depends what you talk about with um, what, like, we didn't have any casualties. I yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> like, that's we the... killed a lot more emus. Well, all yeah, right? That's true. I don't want anybody to think that <laughs> emus were killing <laughs> Australians. Like, we're that pathetic. Mm. I mean, we're pathetic enough to start a war with emus. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, that is true. Yeah. Yes, the, yeah. the emu war. It was um, largely based in uh, Western Australia. Yeah. And essentially what happened was the emus were becoming a pest and they were killing crops, a lot of crops. And um, so the, it, it, there was a lot of, I think, um, political reasoning behind what, like the reason why it was so... Um, uh, 
why this decision happened basically to start a war with the emus because there was like some politician being like i'll fix the emu problem Uh and then uh and this was his solution and um the funny thing is i think the first time they went out they didn't kill an emu like so the whole point was like okay we're gonna go out and just kill as many emus as we can yeah and the first time didn't kill a single emu (laughs) like that's pretty (laughs) that's pretty embarrassing um the emus won that battle, but they didn't win the war. Came, I mean, they eventually won the war, obviously, <laughs> which was basically just by surviving. They, they lost every battle, but did win the war. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, and, and I find it funny because the, I guess, the cliche of people traveling to Australia is uh, everything will try and kill you. Yeah, yeah. Right. All, all the animals there will try and kill you. Like platypus, mm. it's cute, but it's got a deadly spike on the back of its foot. It'll, it'll kill you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, kangaroos, they'll box you to death, you know. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny to think, like, even the docile, <laughs> like an yeah. emu, that, that is seen yeah. as, a, as a, uh, a gentle thing, even though they're not. Yeah. You're like, oh, there's emus. We did go to war <laughs> with yeah, yeah. them once, <laughs> yeah. obviously. Yeah. yeah. But they're all right. They're, they're, they're not too dangerous. We respect them now. <laughs> We have a treaty, a peace treaty. <laughs> um, we give them a few crops every year yeah. and just th- they can go nuts on. We've got our and own. We won't kill them. <laughs> it's like our own Congeva, uh, uh, Geneva Convention. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's a good one, actually. Oh, thank you. Emu War. Um, I thought of two, uh, which I think both are very well known. One is the Battle of Troy. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. I think that seems so ridiculous. Are you, are you talking about the battle itself or specifically the ending specifically of the battle? Specifically the ending. Right, yeah, yeah. Like, let's build a big horse yeah. and then just present it to them as a gift, mm. have a few men inside, be totally fine. Yeah. And people now are like, oh, how do they fall for that, right? Yeah. But that's only a known thing because it happened. Yeah, like, yeah. Like... It's now people like, are like, oh, if, like, why would you ever fall for a giant wooden horse? It's so obviously full of soldiers. And I think yeah. it's only so obviously full of soldiers because you've grown up knowing the story of the Trojan horse. Right. If it was something like, it, it's, it's, it's not a known entity. So why would you suspect that necessarily? You could suspect something was up, sure. Yeah, yeah. But that specific thing, I don't think for them was super predictable. I think just the concept there that they built a horse. Like yeah. if it was really common in battle that... If if one side was like, well, we concede, all right, build them the sculpture, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> and it's just like different, you know, different sides built different things, yeah. and then, uh, you know, and and so one day they got this horse, and they were like, oh, it's just the conceding, right, conceding but, ho- horse sculpture. But is any of this our ignorance? Is there a precedent to maybe not like a sculpture, but there there would be a, a peace offering like this? Um. I don't know. I don't think so. I well, mean, surely, surely is- we would have heard about it, right? Because that would have been part of the story. It's like, oh, they presented the horse just like they've presented things, mm. blah, blah. But it's like, no, this is so bizarre. I, I, <laughs> see, here's what I think has happened with that story. And it's it's the the idea that, you know, a story is told generations to generations and it gets warped a bit and it gets warped mm. a bit. And I think there's a piece and missing. And the victors tell the story. As exactly. Well. And I think there's a piece missing of the story. Yeah. Whereas like, you know, in the battle for ages and the battle's over and something happened anyway. And then they left him a horse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> yeah. What's that? I don't know. They left or whatever. Anyway, there's yeah. a horse. Yeah. Like it, it seems like that kind of a retelling where they're like, I don't, I forget the basics. Yeah. But there was su- there was just a horse. There was a horse there. It was yeah. a big horse. No, yeah. a real one. No, it wasn't a real. I think it was wooden horse. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there was a battle, something I don't recall, and then a wooden horse. Can that, I? But the, the broad strokes of battle and then horse. Just know that. Can I just ask? Yeah. Do you reckon everybody anybody's checked inside the Statue of Liberty? Oh my god! Oh, the French, <laughs> <laughs> the, the French are inside, just waiting for their moment. <laughs> no, you can take tours inside. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> but have you been up to the head? They don't let anybody up to the head. Oh, Do you know why? Because people go missing, mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> and it like- smells like cheese and baguettes. <laughs> <laughs> it, it makes sense now that sometimes if you're on the ferry at the in uh, in Manhattan and you you're going past Statue of Liberty, sometimes she goes, "Ho ho ho!" <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I've heard yeah, that. Yeah. Um, okay, here's another one that I thought of. Yeah, that sounds like fiction. Sure. Re- when you really think about it, yeah. sounds like fiction. Mm. Is that we landed on the moon? 
like, oh, well, is it fiction, Nelson? Yeah. This is the I mean, it's obviously fiction. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Because why would they do that? Because why? You know, my favorite thing about the landing on the moon, and this is why I think it's real, mm. is because America did it out of spite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is the, like, I, I, if they, they didn't do it to, I mean, they say they did it to, like, further man's knowledge or whatever, but they did it out of spite. Because yeah. Russia was like, we're thinking of going to the... No, that's not a Russian accent. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're thinking of going to the moon. <laughs> and uh, they said it like that, in that accent. Yeah, yeah. Um, and America's like, what the fuck you are? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there first. We'll see about that. We had no plans to go to the moon. Yeah. But you know what? <laughs> Cancel everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Um, but I just think it's like one of those things that's so bizarre. We obviously know that it happened, but it just seems like yeah. such a weird, it's a yeah. weird flex as the kids what? say, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like, oh, let's yeah. just go to we the moon. We swiped right on the moon. Yeah. Is that the good one? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, and, and, and further to my, my theory that America, I mean, it's not even a theory. It's kind of known that America did it to beat the Russians. Yeah, because yeah. if, if you listen to JFK's famous speech, it sounds like he's making up reasons. Yeah. Uh, we choose to do it um, not because uh, not not even because it's easy. Cause it's hard. That's why we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it because it's, it's, it's there. That's, yeah. it's, a, it's not do Russia. You, do you like doing easy Sudokus yeah. or hard ones? <laughs> hmm? This is what we're what, battling what, with. Why are we going? To the, why aren't you going to the moon? Actually, no. Don't don't go to the moon. Don't go to the moon. <laughs> if you're not American, we, we choose to go to the moon. That's us. <laughs> Um, okay, but Gambo, let me get to the point that I wanted to. So, sure. uh, somebody called Dracon Pyrothean, Pyrothean, yep, they uh, wrote uh, something that sounds like fiction for the 1904 Olympics and in St. Louis. Yep. Would you like to hear? Yeah, please. Okay, thank God. Oh, I'm glad, glad you didn't say no. no thank you. <laughs> On to us. Okay. Uh, so, uh, this person said, the first place finisher did most of the race in a car. <laughs> he had intended to... Oh, sorry. This is a marathon. Did I say that? I just no, said that it didn't. was the Olympics, yeah. but it was the, the marathon yeah. at the 1904 Olympics. Uh, so, the first place finisher did most of the race in a car. He had intended to drop out and got a car back to the stadium to get his change of clothes. <laughs> And just kind of started <laughs> jogging when he heard the fanfare. <laughs> the second place finisher was carried across the finish line, uh, legs technically twitching by his trainers. They had been refusing him water and giving him a mixture of brandy and rat poison <laughs> for the entire race. Doping wasn't illegal yet, and this was, the, uh, was a terrible attempt at it. So he got the gold when the first guy was revealed. <laughs> Third finisher was un unremarkable somehow. Fourth finisher was a Cuban mailman who had raised the funds to attend the Olympics by running non-stop around his entire country. <laughs> he landed in New it's like Orleans. Forrest Gump. <laughs> yeah. He landed in New Orleans and promptly lost all of the traveling money on a riverboat casino. <laughs> he ran the race in dress shoes and long trousers, <laughs> cut off at the knee by a fellow competitor with a knife. <laughs> He probably would have come in first, well, second behind the car, had it not been for the hour nap he took on the side <laughs> of the track after eating rotten apples he found on the side of the race. Oh, wow. Ninth and twelfth finishers were from South Africa and ran barefoot. South Africa didn't actually send a delegation. These were students who just happened to be in town and thought it sounded fun. <laughs> Ninth was chased a mile off course by angry dogs. <laughs> Uh, note, these are the first Africans to compete in any modern Olympic event. Uh, half the participants had never raced competitively before. Some died. St. Louis only had one water stop on the entire run. This coupled with the dusty road and exacerbated by the cars kicking up dust led Especially to the... from first place. <laughs> yeah, from first place. He was just doing donuts. <laughs> uh, led to the above fatalities. And yet somehow, rat poison guy <laughs> survived to get the gold. The Russian delegation arrived a week late because they were still using the Julian calendar <laughs> in 1904. Uh, so, okay, so I don't particularly like the Olympics. I don't watch it when it's on TV or anything. Yes. If it was like this, 
I'd watch every sport. That'd be really entertaining. I love the idea that none of them have trained yeah. or were prepared yes. <laughs> or anything. If you told me there's going to be a 200 meter butterfly swimming race, yeah, and there's picked whoever, and um, n- <laughs> I'm like, oh, n- I want to see who wins that. Or even better, none of the participants can swim. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one guy can kind of swim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The other one like swam a bit when he was little. Two of yeah. them are scared of water. <laughs> One's and, got floaties on, and at least one of them will die. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would watch that. Yeah. Well, did you know, Kevin, and maybe you did by context or whatever, but the Olympics was never really meant for athletes. Mm. It was actually just um, kind of meant to be for your everyday man. Yeah. Um, or woman. No, just men. They were really yeah, against yeah. women, actually. <laughs> yeah. um, Especially way back. It's just naked men. Yeah, naked men. Well, in fact, it's interesting, right? Because it probably, because when it, it started in Greece, it probably was more for athletes. Yeah. And then it seems to have like progressed to some point where it was just like, oh, your everyday person yeah. um, can can enter. And, and it's kind of like that. that is what made it uh, a bit more entertaining, a bit more about the kind of about the country itself. Like mm. you supported somebody that was kind of just like you a little yeah. bit, or maybe a little bit fitter or something. But, but uh, I, I love looking at any fit person from like the 40s. Yeah. Because they look like me. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's right. They just they just ate steak and drank milk. Yeah, for fifty years. Yeah, and they're smoking as they're they're rowing or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And yeah. I love that that was that was healthy. Like, that was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. I I would get behind that so much more. Yeah, yeah, and I think especially because um, like the with the Olympics, there's other um, like every event has their own normally yearly mm. like world champion uh championship event yeah. like archery yeah. or or you know running or diving or whatever they all have their own individual events throughout the year so olympic olympics it's like doesn't really uh, it it doesn't really change anything it's almost like a worse competition in a way right. cuz it's like you know it's probably you've got more uh, heats that are a little bit more um, mm. close together and things yeah. like that with an event where anybody can be involved because then you might have like, you know, 10 people from America qualify, whereas you can only have one or whatever. I, I don't know what the limit is, but I'm sure it's not infinite from each country. So there's probably actually better competition at these uh-huh. like world championship events. So the Olympics really should just be for whoever. And well, the, the good thing about the Olympics is if you win an Olympic medal, and I don't know if this is just an Australian thing. I suspect it's it's an international thing. That if you win the Olympic gold medal, what that does is it sets you up with a pretty great career of going around to primary schools yeah. and showing kids your medal. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> there was yeah. always, every year, there'd be like some Olympian, like she won silver yeah. in the downhill Not every year, normally every four years. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't, your, your fame doesn't even last no. <laughs> throughout the four years from one Olympic to the other. It's I, like you've I, got a, maybe even a six month period after yeah. the Olympics. When, when was the last Olympics? Mm, 20, what was, are, what are London we? was 2012. We're so 2019, 2016? Yeah, okay. Um, I would be interested to meet someone from that Olympics, but any Olympics before, I don't want to meet you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I only want to meet people from the last Olympics ever. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, okay. It's a good idea. Yeah. Um, I'd sell the gold. Yeah. I, I think I'd be like, well, that's fine. I don't really need it, yeah, do yeah. I? Yeah, yeah. Didn't... I'm going to show my ignorance here about Australian league football. Didn't one of the um, uh, one one of the big footballers sell their Brownlow medal for drug money? I think. Oh, uh, did they? Yeah, I, think yeah, so. I don't know. That sounds. I, it sounds. It sounds true. like it's kind of true with a bit of yeah, yeah. bit of a lie in there as it, well. It's, <laughs> it's the Trojan horse. Yeah, yeah. Something happened, and then Brownlow medal, something, and then drug money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the connection was. Yeah. Uh, that was great though. That's a great story, and I love that it's true. Yeah, it's so it's so interesting. I and mean, I, you know, what's the saying? Something along the lines of this "When in Rome, do as the Romans." Do. Yeah, that's the one yeah. I was thinking of. <laughs> uh, all right, Gambo, let's get into Ask Reddit. No need for a theme, Nelson. We're already in Ask Reddit. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Ask Reddit. 
This uh, credit is um, by Club Evermore. Every creature on Earth is now the size of a horse. What creature do you think would be the most dangerous, and how do you fend against it? Spider, surely. Because, mm. or that—that's maybe just my natural phobia. Yeah, Actually, no, yeah. you know, I'm not that scared of spiders, to be fair. Yeah. But if it was the size of a horse, I would be. Do you know what? This is what I'd like to know, right? I remember hearing documentaries and something about spiders. Mm. And uh, I remember one of the things is like, this spider is the biggest spider in the world. It's the size of a dinner plate. And I'm like, holy shit, that's mm. a big spider. And then you look at it yeah. and it's, and its abdomen mm. is like a tennis ball size. Yeah. And its legs go out to the, the width yeah. of a dinner plate. Yeah. And you're like, well, that's not really... That's not... Like, well, I would... That would still freak me out. Yeah. More so than your average spider. Yeah. But if the horse analogy is that it's just legs reach oh, to the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's know, that, like the size of a dog? Yeah. And then the like, legs stretch yeah, out. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Mm. See, it's, and then I'm like, yeah. And not I mean, a, it's not even freaky. a big dog. Yeah. Because if its legs are so dangly to be the size of a horse, that dog doesn't have to be that big. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. It should be like a cocker spaniel or something. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, so maybe it's not that. Yeah, and, and I mean, we... Oh, did you reckon... Okay, sorry, just thinking out loud. Oh, go on, because my point was no this good. Is, okay. So. <laughs> Do you know what's happened before in the past? Like, like you cut me off and be like, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to tell a real <laughs> bad joke then. Uh, anyway, uh, do you think there's a possibility that spiders become more like um, pets? You know, because like, some people keep spiders as pets. I mean, weirdos keep spiders yeah. as pets, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe if they were like a bit bigger, mm. you could see it's... I mean, it's kind of gross. Mm. But I could just see there being a market for people that like... It's it's the way that they move that I think freaks people out. Yeah, because they're yeah. very like dangly and they're always running about and yeah, like, yeah. So I think that you know what people don't like about spiders isn't their size. Yeah, it's 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 the way their, they move. Yeah, it's their movements and the you know that's true. So and some yeah, of them regardless, are, some of them are, are obviously venomous, which people don't like as well. Oh yeah, that's um, a problem yeah. too. <laughs> but imagine. The cool types of fetch you could play with the spider. You throw it on top of a roof. Mm. You're like, go get it. You just w make a web and swing up and yeah. Yeah, that'd yeah. Be cool. And climb on the side. Of the oh, imagine spider webs though. Oh, oh that'd be really annoying yeah. actually. And also. I hate walking into them now where they're yeah. tiny and you can barely see them. Could you imagine if there was a snail the size of a horse? Mm -hmm. At the moment, sometimes you see the little silver streak of where a snail's been. Yeah, yeah. It'd be everywhere. Oh, man. All that'd be gross. Footpath. I imagine it'd be like stepping in dog shit, you know? But you're like, like you'd not get really stuck to it. It's kind of like, it's kind of adhesive, isn't it? That's how they go at walls. A little, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So you probably get stuck with the size. Yeah, it probably gets more adhesive. Yeah. You're right. Ooh. That'd be terrible. Yes. And indestructible because of the shell. Yeah. I mean, we can stand on them now, but mm. if they're the size of a horse, that's a thick, sh that's a thick shell. Punch them in the face. Yeah. When, it, they're, it, when they're not in their shell. It, it, Lure it, them out <laughs> with something that they like. Wait, they don't like salt. That'd be up easy. Mm. Just carry a packet of salt with you. It would. Would that make? Would that make Shetland ponies the size of regular horses? Yeah, because I mean, that would make it very hard to distinguish them. Then <laughs> yeah. you'd be like, look at that horse. I'm like, huh, that's a Shetland pony. Idiot. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yeah, that's right. Oh, oh dear. So much confusion <laughs> would be caused. Um, I think. Uh, you know what? Like lions and tigers. Mm. They're like yes, felines, yeah, yeah. I think they would be really scary mm. if they were that big, because mm. they they're pretty. I reckon if I was fighting off against something, yeah, an animal yeah. of just regular size, some sort of feline animal has got to be up there as like number one that I don't want to face up against. Yeah. They're more like a bear. I feel like a bear, is that a downgrade? Yeah, I feel like it's probably a downgrade. Oh, a or do they bit. just oh, not... Pretty close. Yeah, pretty maybe close. they just don't really change. Yeah, yeah. Still, you wouldn't want to fight it. Yeah, I wouldn't want to fight it. Yeah. But if you had a horse-sized bear and a horse-sized <laughs> lion fighting off against each other, mm. which one's going? Well, only science can tell us. Mm -hmm. So scientists, yeah. get on that. Make a big lion. Make a big and lion. maybe just a normal bear. We're yeah. not sure. 
you may need to change a bear. You may not. Um, you do the research on that. Yeah. Let us know when you're done. I mean, really, we just want them the same size. So if you want, you can either shrink a regular bear to the size of a lion. <laughs> <laughs> or you can make a lion just the size of a bear. Yeah. Might be the size of a horse. I don't know. Your pick, whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to, to make you work too hard. <laughs> work work smarter, not harder, is what we say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here's another one. Okay. Uh, this is by Top Hated Shark. Ooh. Mm, wait, how about a shark? We didn't really think about sharks. I mean, that'd be a downgrade. <sighs> yeah. yeah that's, well, that's... It depends on the kind of shark, doesn't it? Mm, yeah, it's that's gr- true. Great white sharks get quite big. Yeah. Uh, could you imagine like a blue whale? It'd just be so boring, wouldn't they? Yeah. It's That's like the coolest thing about the blue whale is that it's huge. Yeah. Because it's also like, no. Oh, yeah. You're just like every other whale now. It's it's <laughs> it's it's got one thing going for it. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. it's like, a, I think it's got something like a 17 foot penis. Yeah, yeah. And it would be like, what? What if it still had I... a 17 foot penis? Oh, That'd be impressive. <laughs> <laughs> not, that, not, I think... not that horses aren't particularly well hung anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I've seen a few horses that, you know. It, it, there's a reason the saying is hung like a horse. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, Top Hated Shark says, you have to make a toy all kids hate. What do you make? <laughs> <clears throat> now, I feel like part of perhaps the stipulation needs to be that it is a toy. Yeah, you can't be like a, a, a like tax a, return here's form. Here's a cheese or grater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, which could just be, I mean, oh, no, yeah, I don't know. Mm. I was going to go with something like violent, maybe, but they might not hate that. They might really like that. It, it, it depends. If we're going that every kid in 2019 hates, yeah, that's just any toy that's not an iPad game, I feel. No, that's not true. Nelson, kids still play with toys. Nelson, more like antisocial media is what I'm trying to say. People are on their phones all the time. Oh. No one talks to each other on the train anymore. <laughs> that's true. But that's because uh, humans yeah, no, no. inherently I... hate each other. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> And yes, if someone talked to me on the train, yeah, I'd lose my shit. <laughs> like, what are you? Do? I don't know you. Yeah, <laughs> first yeah. you try to work out the connection. Yeah, yeah. I like, oh, do. I know you from? <laughs> oh no, no, we don't know each other. Then what the hell what are you the doing? Hell? Get the fuck oh, I just saw that you weren't on your phone. No, I'm not on my phone. Yeah, that doesn't mean I want you to talk to me. I'm. Li- I've got earpods in. <laughs> I'm listening to something. Obviously. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, no. I know. I know. Kids like toys. The, the kid was showing me his Paw Patrol toy just the other day. I don't know what was going Paw on. Paw Patrol's a big one. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, What's it? Is there a toy that we had as kids that kids these days would think is awful? I reckon Tarzos. <clears throat> Tarzos. Love to be Tarzos, no, which I think is also for our American listeners. I don't think it was called Tarzos. I think it was called Pog. Pogs, mm-hmm. something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, it's yeah. like round discs. Yeah, yeah. You get like Hazim. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get like packets of uh, uh, chips and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, what? Because about... I think that would be really boring these days. Well, but at least there was like a game to it. You I say that, but the same kid that showed me his Paw Patrol thing mm-hmm. loves those. Little supermarket stickies. Oh uh, yeah, that's <laughs> and true. I think that they're as bad, if not worse, than yeah. Because yeah. at least the Tarzos had the Warner Brothers cartoons on them. Yeah, yeah. Like oh, this one's got D- Tazzy Devil. You yeah, know? yeah. And then and then these ones are like, oh, you've got you've got Omo the washing detergent. <laughs> oh, I really wanted the washing detergent <laughs> sticky. I yeah. <laughs> I um. I remember when when there, there was a promotion going on and I was I was buying some stuff and they gave me like a packet. And yeah. I was like, I don't want these. And I just turned to some kid. I'm like, hey, you kid, you want these? Yeah. And the, the mom's like, oh, that, you're, you're, that's so sweet of you. I'm like, literally don't thank me. Yeah, yeah. And then they opened it and they're like, oh my God, it's got Ovaltine. <laughs> <laughs> you should have yanked it back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't think I was going to get Ovaltine See, in only, there, obviously. <laughs> only time I've ever heard a kid say, oh my God, it's got Ovaltine. <laughs> I feel like if you gave them a cake right. and it was filled with oval titties, they'd be like, oh my like, God, it's got it's oval got titties. titties. <laughs> <laughs> so, There's so many oval titties in the cake. So, uh, would, you, would kids today, there was a fad when we were growing up and it was some kind of a game in which you had a stick with a string between mm-hmm. the two sticks and then like a weird cone 
Oh my do you, god! Do you remember those? Camber, I think we were we're only one year apart, but to me that sounds like people who were younger than me, quite like played with. Like my age, yeah. never got into that. Oh, really? Was that your uh, I one mean, year? I think actually can make well, a pretty big difference with toys and and well, crafts and stuff. But you're you're, but you're right, and but, but also I never did it. Yeah, I, but I remember you were reading comic books. I know, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, but I, I just remember seeing kids at school doing it. But maybe that was younger kids at school. I just remember it being at around, right. around my okay. school. Yeah, there yeah. would be kids doing it. Yeah. Um. W- surely, kids. They is that that's never coming back. I don't think that's coming back. Don't you tell because... me that is some guy to peer. Be- and you're like, yeah. why Why are you doing yeah, this You now? never grew up. Yeah. Get, a, get a real yeah. job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pick up the coins, take a bus to a university and enroll in something. Uh, but I, yeah, well, I think it's because like the skill level, right? Because I remember that um, like those things, I've seen them in circus. I think Cirque du Soleil used them at one point. Right. And uh, it's like, they look really cool if you practice it mm. and stuff, but otherwise, it's kind of a shit game. Yeah, like, you just kind of throw a cone into the air and then catch on the y- string. Yeah, it's like it looks cool for a moment yeah. when the guy at the shop is is demoing it for yeah. you, and then you get it home and you're like, "This is rubbish." I've made a I think mistake. Yeah. I think the same thing happened with yo-yos. Yeah. When I was younger, yo-yos was like big rage, and I was like, "Oh yeah, this is fun," and then the string gets tangled once. And then that's, you're done. Yeah. You're like, this is not worth it. But then there's like some kids that have like practiced. I think my brother actually got quite good mm. at the yo-yo. The musician? He did the walk of the dog. Was it the thing. musician? Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, well, what else he do? He's a musician. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> got him. Thank you for the thing. <laughs> yeah, really, really <laughs> good, actually. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, so I think maybe... Maybe well, okay. Getting back to this. Well, I, I've got I've got a concept. Yeah, I want to pitch it to you. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a it's 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 a box. Yeah, right. Gray box. Yeah, little button on the top. Yeah, press the button. Mm-hmm. Plays twenty seconds of a song by the Dire Straits. Okay. Yeah, and I'm not saying that's a bad object, but kids wouldn't like it. Yeah, the kids don't like the Dire Straits, Nelson. I mean, but I'm. It has to be a toy, but. Yeah, it's a, like it's, <laughs> it's, kind of it's a toy. It's They used to be. They used to be a toy. I don't know if you remember this, mm. but it was a little, a little disc, a little, like a little disc shaped thing with one earphone, so you could only put it in one ear. Yeah, and it played twenty second samples of songs, and it had up to five songs. What? Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even remember that. Yeah, yeah. It, it was um, it was just before discmans were really big. <laughs> okay. Um, and before like the compilation so fresh albums and stuff came out, this was like oh. the precursor to them. Just and they twenty were just, seconds. Yeah, they played like the chorus of popular songs, and you could buy them with different sets oh, of songs. I'm God. saying I want that object, but just playing the Dire Straits. <laughs> okay. Um. Yep, good. Shit to yeah. wait. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I just, it, it's not that there's nothing wrong. The dice rates are, are, are fine. Kids, yeah. kids wouldn't like it. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe it's just audio books. Um, it just plays like snippets of like the Great Gatsby <laughs> yeah, re- yeah. read by Jake Gyllenhaal. And yeah. This kid's like, oh boy. Grapes is- of Wrath or something yeah. <laughs> that's like really deep and, and uh, philosophical and yeah. hard, to, hard to listen to. Um, okay, I've, I've thought about it. I'm going to go with a different concept, right? Okay. Yeah. Which is create a toy that kids like, mm-hmm. but then just make it worse. Okay. <laughs> so I'm thinking, what did, what did toys did kids like recently? Fidget spinners. Right, yep. So fidget spinner, mm-hmm. but only does one rotation. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be good. I think that'd be enough to like... You know, you could sell that. They'd yep. be like, oh, it's a fidget spinner. And you call it like the Galactic fidget spinner. Something sounds real cool. Mm. And then they play with it. And it just goes, dunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little <laughs> stopper. <laughs> Can you make it spin real slow as well? So it goes, <laughs> yeah. do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, was, that was unsatisfying. Yeah, I, I like it. I think um, it's a winner. Uh, okay, Cambo. Let's get into Today I Learned. So now it's time for Today I Learned. What's we'll the that? <laughs> Today I Learned. Uh, this Today I Learned is by Senbei One. 
Today I learned a 74-year-old Japanese man dressed as a ninja and posing, uh, possessing great physical ability carried out 254 break-ins worth $260,000 before, before he was caught by police. What do you think about that campaign? Uh, it's pretty impressive. Pretty pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, was, what, what strikes me about this is it's in Today I Learned. Yeah. But it doesn't, like, it just seems like it's not mind-blowing either. I think, yeah. you know what I mean? Like it, it's, it is one, this one guy's just like, he heard about a guy. He's like, I, I, I technically, I learned that today. Yeah. And he put on today. I learned, do you think that this is, I think you're assuming that this was just a random guy who right. just found it out. Yeah. I think this was one of the police officers Ooh. on the case. He shouldn't be sharing that information. <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> if you put it as a today I learned, for, to today I learned that this particular doctor is being sued for malpractice. I was <laughs> yeah. like, hey, man, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? You are the doctor. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Uh, because I think, because obviously, I guess the more interesting part is that you don't expect the 74 year old yeah. grandpa. So if you're like, oh, we've got some diamonds missing, mm -hmm. you obviously go for. The penguin controlling grommet in the pants. Yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah. yeah. Wallace in the pants. That's a reference <laughs> kids will understand. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you don't know Wallace and Gromit, get a get a, one of those sticks with a thing between it. That you can juggle a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a what a slam, Nelson! Yeah, You've I really got him. Showed them. I got him. Uh, so. Did, did it say... You might need to reread it. So, 74, he dressed as a ninja. Dressed as a ninja. And it said... Did it say not possessing particular skills? No, or was it, no it says possessing great physical ability. Great, yeah, okay, right. right. Yeah. For a second... Because, sorry, for a yeah. second, I understood it say not possessing any great abilities, which I was going to say, well, he does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that makes it even more impressive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's not physically... <laughs> Capable at all. Yeah. He has to have a walking cane. That, that <laughs> does lead credence to maybe the guy wrote it. He's like, yeah. you're 74. But you know what? Great physical ability. Yeah. To be fair, that's what I think. <laughs> yeah. Just to put it out there. Because no, no one else has mentioned it. Yeah. 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 Uh, Not all the police been, reports. It's been, been reported on. <laughs> and no one's mentioned my physique. So Yeah. I've got that V taper yeah. around my waist. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, just for everybody. You don't get that doing yeah, nothing, that. is all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Now I got it doing robberies. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I do like the idea though, because I thought what's interesting about this is really like this is the closest you get to get to like a supervillain, because <laughs> he put on an outfit dressed yeah. as a ninja. Yeah. And then robbed like. 254 places. That's a lot of places over $260,000. Yeah. I love that he was just like, it just feels like it should be fake. It feels like it's just a uh, random story, some stupid comic book cartoon about a, uh, about a grandpa dressing up as a ninja and yeah. stealing stuff. But it's like, no, it actually happened. It's I'm, brilliant. I'm not convinced we won't see him in Avengers Endgame. Yeah. Oh. Because it sounds like something that would be a Marvel comic, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe he steals the Infinity Gauntlet yeah. off of Thanos' hand. That would be good if 10 years and 20 movies in... The person that does it is a character no one's met. <laughs> yeah, there hasn't been any comic books about him. No. It's just and and then and afterwards in like the press conference, like who was that guy? And Kevin Feige's like, well, I've read this really interesting story about a guy that did this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He dressed up as an injury and and stuff. I thought eh, he's the hero that we need. Yes, yeah. yes. And plot twist, Stanley. Oh, that would be good. Mm, that would be good. Yeah. Uh, now I want that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. But the, okay, here's the other thing that I was thinking about there. Yeah. Is he obviously partly got away with it. I'm assuming, making the assumption. Yeah. Because he was old, right? So you're like, oh, his fingerprints were left at the scene of the crime. Yeah. So there, but look at this guy, so old. He couldn't have possibly done it. Yeah. What do you think that we, what crime do you think we could get away with <sighs> for the opposite reasons? Look, where 
white middle class guys in our twenties. Yeah. So most crimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but that's right. also on the flip side, we're definitely guilty of anything that we're charged with, aren't we? Like yeah. if they're like, look, so <laughs> someone has assaulted someone. Yeah. It's probably those two. <laughs> <laughs> once they point His, the finger, yeah. then it's like... History would show us that it was those two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I see. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm, like, I mean, I think that if we just beat the shit out of somebody, maybe an old lady, nobody's going <laughs> to suspect that. No, no, no. From I, I, us. I, I think... What, like, oh, we do a whimsical podcast. I think what we need to do is we need to do like... Either really high financial crime that they're like they've never shown an interest yeah, in. That yeah, yeah, we're we're or, far too dumb for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or some kind of like like great art heist. Oh, because we don't have a single piece of art on our walls. Yeah, nor do we. Uh, ever we talk. do actually. We have a Banksy. We do have a Banksy uh, look alike. Yeah, <laughs> uh, by Rowan. So yes, you know that's what? true, there and that's that. the best art there is. That's, that's no, all anyway. you need. That's all you uh, need. But like, what if we stole a bunch of like Monet paintings or something from some gallery in New York? Yeah, who would ever suspect us? That's true. Why would they ever suspect us? Hey, Cabo. Yeah, let's do it. Let's. Uh, Nelson hit stop for a sec. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just discuss this further. I'll play a theme so people don't hear us and we'll, we'll talk off uh, off mic. Do you know what the problem is with this plan? What's that? Is that we do need the skills to be able to <laughs> proper place. Yeah, what, like what, we are so unlikely because we don't have the skills. Yeah. What, what we possess at the moment is just that no one thinks we could do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which isn't actually a help. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, Camber. Um, I think we're just going to go into shower thoughts. Shower thoughts, 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 shower thoughts, 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 shower thoughts, 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 shower thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Uh, Camber, this shower thought was actually sent through by my brother. Okay. Which... Mu- the musician? No, not the musician. Ah. The other one. What Thanks for do? nothing. What, what does he do as a job? <laughs> Thanks for nothing, other brother. Uh, he... Works for uh, a, a health insurance company. Yeah, bloody time on his hands to go on Reddit. Yeah. Oh, just to, just to... Funnily enough, he was made redundant recently. <laughs> and so he that... kind of is in between like two places. He's it... actually still employed. It's very confusing. Is that an Allingham uh, family tradition? Yes, yeah, that's right. Okay. Now, do you know what? It's one of those things where it's like where, you know, you you buy a, a car. That's like the particular one. You buy a particular car and then you see that car everywhere. Right. I think it's the same sort of thing. It's like you get made redundant and then you realize, oh, like there's actually tons of people that get yeah. made redundant. There's a secret society living amongst us yes. of people that are redundant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, so this uh, this was a shout thought sent through uh, by my brother, but it's also by <laughs> Laser Dick McCool. <laughs> That's definitely your brother's Reddit handle. Well... Well, possibly. Because it possibly. sounds as bad as the time I tried to convince my girlfriend that my nickname in high school was Big Cock McGuinness. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like something's like, this is what people call me. I don't right. know what to tell you. It's, I didn't make it up. They did. <laughs> I wish they wouldn't call me that, to be honest. But, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of pressure. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm really small. <laughs> uh, okay. This is going to, I think, just take it one step further. Uh, the blood you're using in your brain to read this was once in your boner. Hmm. Think about that, Cambo. Hmm. You are technically it, thinking it, with your dick. It, well, aren't always. We, aren't we all? Always. Um, only true for men, obviously. Uh, yes. Well, there's going to be some other, you know, like when you're aroused, blood flows pretty heavily right. to, I think... Sexual organs, regardless, yeah. Yeah. perhaps. I think, right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you assume I knew that? Um, no, I just thought it was like, oh, that happens. Yeah. Um, it doesn't work for me because this is a little known fact of the podcast, but Nelson, you're aware of this. Yeah. Complete blood transfusion every morning as part oh. of my daily routine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, I go through a lot of blood, Nelson. Yeah. And let me tell you, I have to murder a lot of people for it. You wake which is, up. Which Do sucks because you... I've got O negative blood. Yeah. Which means I can only receive O negative blood, which isn't super common. Yeah. So I have to keep finding people with O negative blood. Yeah. Oh, shit. Really? I have O negative blood. That's interesting. Uh, <laughs> Nelson, hit stop for a second. <laughs> Let's talk off mic. Can I ask that? So you get up, mm-hmm. you wank. Yeah. 
and then you have the blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because yeah. there... I don't want dick blood in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> There's a billboard, <laughs> Rowan, if you're making new billboards. I don't want dick blood in, in my brain. brain. Um what five stars. What if the <laughs> what if on iTunes if you You wank and then after you finish, mm. pretty quickly afterwards, yeah. you go flaccid, right? Mm-hmm. Normally. Mm. So Instantly. I think you should I think you should Is that normal? I think you should have the transfusion mm. while you're wanking. <laughs> I think that's more likely to avoid that penis blood going to your head. Mm. We have to st- look. It's an adjustment to my routine. <laughs> yeah. I will admit that you've been doing it wrong this yeah, whole yeah, time. Yeah. Because no I, wonder you're such an Because I, I only have one hand free, presumably, yeah. and I need that to insert the needle into my arm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's going to be a well. You can set it up like before. Like set it up, then start wanking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have the porn running already. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then needle, and then wank. And I think you're done. <laughs> See, at times like this, I'm glad that my family doesn't listen to this show. <laughs> Here's another one, Gambo. Please. This is by Wolfgamer4781. We, uh, we are taught to not talk to strangers, but then when we are older, we are judged for being scared to talk to people. Do you think about that? Mm. There's... Context is important here, isn't it? Um, yep. Like, yeah, you're taught not to talk to strangers mm. when you're alone as a child in yeah. like a neighborhood. But you could talk to like everybody but, else around your parents. Yeah. yeah. Students, <laughs> other students at school. Uh-huh. Yeah, this one was real dumb. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, here's another one. <laughs> <laughs> this is by Emp Geo. The Russian guys who's who the Russian guys who lose their tickets in the beginning of the movie Titanic were the real winners. <laughs> um, I mean, not not the actors obviously because Leonardo DiCaprio went on to be he much, was the winner, much more famous. Yeah, yeah. Um, or Tina yeah. Arena. I also took her career off. Celine Dion. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> They're so similar, though, aren't they? they? Are, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not like it's not like you're describing Fifty Cent or Beethoven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. Yeah. They're they're very similar style in music. They look kind of similar. They look kind of similar. Yeah. They're basically the same. Person. Are they both Canadian? Um, like the similarities are ridiculous. Possibly. Yeah. Uh, doesn't Celine Dion? She's like really famous in like. Spain or something, probably, and yeah. lives there now. But like, I'm not talking about like super. She no, lives maybe in not Las Spain. Vegas. It's like something else. Oh, she's really? got a residency in Las Vegas, yeah. There's a... I remember there's like a country who just never let go of Celine Dion. It's crazy. And she's far more famous there, like the most famous singer ever. Kind of like how David Hasselhoff was big in Germany. Yeah, 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 yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But yes, good point here. Uh, so, I guess. so the, yeah, the Russians that mm. lost the game were the real winners. The real winners. But... Did they get lucky in the back of a car? Yeah, well, there was that. Yeah. The Titanic was 1912. Yeah, sure. And I'm assuming that, I mean, that's a pretty bad time in, in like period of time. Yeah, they would have gone to war. Yeah, may as well just die on a ship. Like, it's yeah, better yeah. than what else you're doing at that dock they in prob- 1912. They, prob- they probably died quicker yeah, than yeah. the <laughs> characters that boarded the Titanic. Yeah. That's true. They're like, they just walked out and they're like, oh, I've got scurvy now. And they just, <laughs> just dropped it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they would die slower, but maybe that's worse. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, our point is, no one is the winner. No one's the winner. In the year 1912. In life. <laughs> we all die. We all die, Cambo. Yeah. Do you win with death? No. You're just dead. Yeah. <laughs> Think about that. That's weirdly life affirming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but they, you know, they, uh, obviously this was fiction, but you know, there's all these stories you hear about, uh, like I remember when the nine 11 attacks happened, Yeah, there's people that like, I was meant to be on that plane. Yep. I was meant to have a meeting in the world trade center that day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Seth MacFarlane creator, a family guy. Yeah. Was that's supposed right. to be on that plane. Yeah. Um, there is a weird story, um, of, from Mark Wahlberg saying that if he was on that plane, they would have stopped him. Yeah, I've heard about that. <laughs> oh, my God. What a, it's so, he just doesn't realize how much of an arsehole he yeah. is for saying that, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like you've just insulted 
every person that died on that plane. Yep. You fucking asshole. And also, no, you wouldn't have. Yeah, and no, <laughs> and no you fucking wouldn't have. Yeah. <laughs> You're not Max Payne in real life, Mark Wahlberg, yeah. only in the movies. Yeah. Uh, here's another one. He, he by... brought the gym I go to. Do you know that? Uh, what? He brought the gym I go to. Who? Mark Wahlberg? Yeah. I don't know if I... I don't the know. one that you go to right now in Australia. Like, like, with like the, the company. Oh, F45. Yeah. He bought F45. Or like a big stake in it or something. Oh. I don't know. I don't know if he'll that. That's interesting. Because people forget this. He blinded a guy in a racially charged attack, so... Oh. I've forgotten that. Yeah. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh... That's interesting. So that's okay. just a weird. I thought you, I thought you specifically, not the listener, okay. would find that interesting. Right? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Ah, swing and a miss. <laughs> okay. Swing and a miss. Uh, this one is by Ice Water Nolman. Kids shows. El- what? Oh, okay. Yep. Nope, this is right. Kids shows led us to believe the mayor of your city was way more important and much more common to see around town <laughs> than they are. <laughs> I think that's true. I have no that, do you know do you know who the mayor of Melbourne is? Uh I used to know who the Lord Mayor was because he was kind of a kooky little Asian dude. Right. Oh right. Yeah. I, I don't know if he's know. still but what's the difference? I think mean, there a mayor was a, a there was mayor. a woman at some point, I think, as well, also as mayor. I don't know the difference between any of these no, things. No, me neither. Uh, I think that mayor is scalable depending on the town you live in as well. Mm. Um, so one of yes. my favorite things, there was a dog called Duke. <laughs> oh, yeah, and he was elected this. mayor of his town <laughs> Yeah, uh, for years and years. Do you know I think we might have done it today? I learned on this a yeah. very long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. possibly. Yeah. Uh, and I, I reckon you would see Duke around. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. Wait, so I'd be way more excited to see Duke. I don't even yeah. like dogs. Yeah, I Wait. suppose that means I hate mayors more. <laughs> <laughs> the, Human the, mayors. The, the, the mayor of our town might live in our building. We would never we know. I have no idea. But my favorite thing about Duke mm-hmm. is there was a news reporter once, and they asked someone in the town, why does your town keep electing this dog <laughs> mayor? Yeah. And yeah. their answer was, well, he's doing a pretty good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He doesn't go barking up the wrong no. tree. <laughs> um, also, he's got a really good recycling initiative. That surprised everyone. He really had a, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Had a real solid plan about that. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, uh, <laughs> we went along with it. We're, uh, we actually yeah. have a negative carbon fo- yeah, yeah, footprint. Yeah, we're uh, completely renewable. So that's <laughs> yeah. crazy. Um, I, the big one for me was Powerpuff Girls. Mm-hmm. This is about such show, and the mayor used to, I feel like, always get in trouble, trouble mm-hmm. from Mojo Jojo, right? The gorilla right. villain, and he was like pathetic. He didn't do anything. The mayor in that. Oh, that sounds like a real mayor. <laughs> yeah, oh, but he got him. Um, is is a a mayor of a town more of an American thing? Like I know that we have them, oh, as in like maybe I mean, they have like, more power or, or, or something or people or... giving a shit about them. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, maybe it's more of an American. Cuz well, it, not know. even just America, but I I it seems like a small town backwater America. Right. Kind of a thing. That like the mayor would get it. Can but we've got anything. somebody for this. Okay. Has him. Has him. <laughs> we need you to write in yeah. with who your mayor is. Yeah. I think you live in New York, right? Yeah. And uh, I know it, it, it used to be Judy, uh, Rudy Giuliani, who is now Trump's attorney, right? And all around bad guy. Yeah. But who's the current man? Who's the current? Is it still man? him? Did you care about Rudy Giuliani before? You know the Trump thing, mm. or like were they always? Well, a he got prominent. Pretty, he got pretty big points because he was the man during the nine eleven attacks. Right. Oh, uh, so that's quite a while. Yeah. 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 Oh, holy crap. See, mayors go on for like forever. Who knows? This is so... I just have no <laughs> idea about mayors at all. No. <laughs> they could be controlling the world, Cambo. <laughs> we would have no idea. No, um, no. Nah, nah. They're middlemen. No, nah, they, yeah. They're just puppets. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to do one last one. Okay. Might sound a bit rude, but I thought it was hilarious. Okay. This by It's Spectros. <laughs> we could... We could put fuck blind people. 
<laughs> on every billboard in the world. Yeah. And as long as no one snitched, <laughs> we'd get away with it. You, I, I I need to make a um a, a slight adjustment. Yeah, sure. Fuck blind people on a billboard, <laughs> but you would need to add in brackets partially blind's fine because <laughs> they're the ones that are gonna. If if anyone if gonna anyone's snitch, gonna snitch, it's the partially blind. Yeah, yeah. Because they'd be like, what is, what is that? What is that? I'm kind of seeing there. Yeah, that, yeah. That they'd tilt their head around enough to get their clear vision. Yeah, they're like, oh my god. <laughs> How long has that been up? <laughs> <laughs> um, I also think that I mean people aren't always just born blind. Yeah, yeah. they <laughs> might become. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so we have to. Yeah, we have so to like, convince the people. Nelson, Nelson, <laughs> I've been blind for a year now. Have you, you, I've got a question. Um, those billboards. Yeah, we took them down. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you went blind, right. I took them down. Oh, good. I said, hey, everybody, this is not called for my friend Cambo. <laughs> right. He went blind and, yep, definitely happened. He, he is how to make it more foolproof. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to throw them further up the scent, <laughs> put up braille signs around the city saying, <laughs> blind people are great. <laughs> we so they're blind. walking around. Feeling good about feeling themselves, pretty good about themselves. <laughs> and then we're we're all sniggering behind their back. And you know, you know, you know who would love this? Deaf people. Yeah. Deaf, <laughs> deaf people would be like, <laughs> but the thing is, they don't hear what we're playing in supermarkets. Uh, yeah, on the radio. <laughs> Fuck deaf people. And then whispered, partially deaf. Partially deaf is fine. <laughs> that one's all right. <laughs> uh, so funny and stupid. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad you brought that. To <laughs> I thought it was really funny. I was like, it is jokes for ages. It only has three silver. I mean, come That's on. Crazy. Uh, okay. Um, well, okay, but we can now get into podnapping. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I'm being podnapped. Podnapping. Uh, so this is a segment of the show where we nap a pod. <gasps> yep. We listen to another podcast and we nap their segment or like their whole episode, really. Yeah. Their, their whole idea. One time we did a whole genre. Yeah, yeah, whole yeah. genre. <laughs> um, sometimes a topic of conversation. We haven't been yeah. doing that as much because I think the segments are more fun. They're harder yeah. to find. Well, that, that, uh, that was my next point. I'm, yeah. I'm running out of segments so now. I. So th- this week... I was listening to podcasts being like, oh, is that a topic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I think we're going to have to go into topics. Uh, be warned. And I remember yep. thinking, because, you know, uh, this used to be the questions that we would answer to make people fall in love with us and then to make people just like us. And, whatnot, yeah. and then it eventually became podnapping. Yep. But this seems like the most, um, the segment that can change the most. So yeah. I remember thinking, well, look, if we run a podcast, we'll just change it. Yeah. I had someone tell me the other day, it said, you know what my favorite is? I love podnapping. <laughs> really? I was like, oh, no. <laughs> that means you effectively love other podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> you're, if you love podnapping, you've listen, you're have listening to the wrong podcast. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, so this week, yep. um, I tried to find when I and because I was struggling so much, I actually went to uh, the Apple iTunes store and like searched top charts. And yeah. I thought I'll search comedy. It's always normally an easy one. Sure. Uh, and I found one. Where were we on that ranking, Nelson? Uh, number one. Yep. In my dreams. <laughs> and uh, I saw somebody, Cambo, mm. that has a podcast that we're going to see on Friday night. Oh. But you didn't know he had a podcast. I didn't you? actually. Uh, so James Acaster um, and some other guy. <laughs> I yeah. actually don't know the other yeah. guy. Um, for people that, that don't know, we're hanging out with him on Friday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just that, hanging out with James yeah. Acaster. Yeah. Just uh, not to brag or anything. No. We're going to do an episode of his podcast <laughs> with this other guy who's I don't know, some the, sort of, again. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> uh, and uh, they've only done like eighteen episodes, so it's oh. not it's not that big, mate. We've call, done more than that. Call us when you get to 100, James A. Caster. Yeah. And also call us about Friday. And just call we're, us. Yeah. <laughs> we're lonely. <laughs> uh, and so their podcast is called Off Menu. Okay. And uh, basically what happens is they uh, get normally a guest on the show. Mm-hmm. 
uh, and they talk about their ultimate uh, meal, essentially, like yep. going through entree main dessert. Yep. Um, and so, I, it first, this is what I thought at first. I was like, oh, okay. Like, I understand the premise of the show as I started listening to it. Um, and I was like, but I imagine they, they're just going to like start sort of interviewing sort of about this person. Sure. Um, and I was like, oh, it's not going to work great for our podcast, but I'll just do it anyway. But then I listened to more of it and I was like, oh, no, they actually just go through the person's. <laughs> Like what? I mean, they give anecdotes as well uh-huh. about different food stories, but, but it re- like it doesn't really deviate yeah, much. It from really is about the the food. About the food, yeah. yeah. That's refreshing. Uh, yes. So I did word you up a little bit mm-hmm. uh, that you had to think of. Yeah. Uh, so I think essentially they kind of had this idea, like it, you're having a dinner and there's a genie. Yep. Can give you anything. Mm-hmm. A waiter genie, mm-hmm. played by James A. A. Custer, I think. Okay. Uh, but um friend of the show james it's friend of the show uh but it starts off as um two two things to start off with what first is Cambo. we're now sitting just clear your mind yep time we're now sitting at the table yeah you cleared your mind really fast yeah. but nothing in there no, not hard um, and also we are sitting at a table so we are that, sitting at a table also but instead to... of all this mic business mm. you've got an empty plate Yep. Like, where? Okay, I came there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Had to clear my all, mind of what I was thinking of about the microphones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, first of all, by the way, their episode is like an hour long. Pod napping. Let's not make it an hour long. <laughs> okay, cool. Would you like sparkling or still? Still. Of course, still. Yeah. yeah. I'm, not, sparkling. I'm, I'm not a murderer. I hate. <laughs> <laughs> People that drink sparkling water. Yeah. What? I. I. My parents like got into it one time and now i feel like whenever i say no i just want still like i'm offending them they're like i'll like i'll be filling my glass up at the sink Mm. and they're like oh we've got some we've got some sparkling like yeah i know i was aware (laughs) of that are you sure you don't want to we we got heaps we got heaps we're not gonna run out of it mutual friend of ours i have lunch with them every day always sparkling what it's the it's the worst thing about it get rid of them Get rid of them. Uh, next yeah, question. Still, still, yeah. Still, good. Um, you passed so far. Oh, oh, good. It's a test. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is now. <laughs> uh, Papa Dum mm-hmm. or bread roll? Ooh. Ooh, okay. Based on what I will be ordering, oh. I'm going to say bread roll because mm. it is more Anglo Saxon what I'm ordering than it is. Um, yeah, and you're racist. And I'm, um, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, big time. Yeah, but not against the Indians. It's actually against the Swiss. <laughs> okay. I really panicked to, uh, <laughs> to think of second race. So, like, if I can't, that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> I can only think about Indians and Australians. Um, okay. Uh, good. Bread roll. Mm-hmm. Fine. Uh, do you know what? It's a bit boring I'm going though, to go with Papa Dom. Yeah, the Papa Dom is the, the better thing. I'm always surprised when I get it. I well, mean, I've gone to like an Indian restaurant, obviously. But uh, I think like, I'm just like, oh, it's a bit different. It's a I, bit nice salty. Yes. Okay. Because the thing is, a Papa Dom is better than a bread roll. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I yeah, don't yeah. think many people would even argue that. Yeah, and, I and don't think I, so. I've just done the boring thing of tried to match it to my meal, but maybe mm. that's not what this is about. Maybe not. No, I think it's not about that, actually. Okay. It's, you know it doesn't need to match. Pop it's it just on. like, all right. Think of that? All right. Pretty buddy yeah. good. Yeah. Pretty buddy good, mate. Um, and also, I think like the bread and roll, you get feel, feel like. Mm. <laughs> Plus, also, I forgot because you asked me for a starter, and it's, yeah. it's bread. So. Oh, oh, bread. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I meant, I did, I looked at my message afterwards and I said starter, comma, and entree. Yeah. But I meant starter slash entree. Okay. But I, that's okay. I, I starter had two is separate bread. Things. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. Okay. Um, so starter, just bread. Well, well, it was going to be garlic bread. No, oh, sorry. that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Cheesy garlic bread? Yes. Oh, Though, am I having dinner with you? Um, because I know you're lactose intolerant. I, I would choose cheesy garlic bread. But I'm happy to go regular garlic bread so would, you can have some. Uh, it wouldn't be my preferred starter, but I would absolutely choose cheesy garlic bread okay. over garlic bread. Oh, great. Okay. Cheesy garlic bread is. I'm not so lactose intolerant. I can't like have dairy or I yeah. just suffer through it really. Yeah. I don't care. In <laughs> fact, the on the um, 
I've made you a show. The woman was like, oh, I'm lactose intolerant, so it kind of sucks for some things. I was like, I don't care. I'll just eat that shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so and a lot of the times uh, I, I get teased a little bit because I am a very simple man when it comes to food. Yeah. I quite like plain versions of things. Okay. Like I really like just a, a cheese pizza or maybe, yeah. maybe a pepperoni if I'm feeling adventurous. Yeah. But I am a very simple man. Yeah, I feel that this is going to come out a little bit with some of my choices. I, a cheesy garlic I think bread so. is not exciting. <laughs> I think I. Could... I mean, it is to me because yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is the basic bitch of entree yeah, starters. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what? This you, I could probably guess maybe some of the things that you would choose. Interesting. I would like to see because I think you'll be pretty spot on. <laughs> okay. Um, I. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll guess then. Okay. We'll make it a bit more of that because because otherwise yours is going to be so boring. Yeah. This lady on the show is like, oh, I might have like oysters and like no. scallops for... No, no. not Cambo. Just, just chips. Okay, so entree. <sighs> okay, so my thought is mm-hmm. if I'm going for you, mm-hmm. it could be one of two things. Mm. <laughs> this is like ultimate meal. It's either party pies <laughs> but that could be your main <laughs> <laughs> or like fried chicken as an entree okay um, yeah i could see yeah, yeah, yeah. like the wings it's not like like wings yeah yeah because yeah. i think buffalo wings would be close to mine i really yeah. like buffalo wings yeah, he, Hot, like here's the thing i i was thinking slightly more formal dinner yeah and it's what, anything gambe well well hear me out Okay, because <laughs> I'm going to surprise you because it's neither of those. No, uh, but it's, it's because and this is something that, that, that I found that I got more in American restaurants. But I loved it when they started with a soup. Oh, so I quite like if you're sitting down for a dinner that is multiple course. Yes. I love a soup. Okay, entree. What you went with? Pumpkin soup. I uh, actually. Just, oh, oh, tomato soup. Yeah, with tomato. Uh, it was. The, I the, knew it was going to be one t- of t- the two. Tomato <laughs> with a little bit of. Buttery bread on the side. <laughs> yeah, okay. Wouldn't say no. Yeah, yeah. But buttery bread, but then also the garlic bread is something yeah, you've got there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with, and the pop And the pop Um. Uh. Okay. In, yeah. In I, case, do you know what? In case I people think that don't is... know uh, and they've never seen us, I'm white. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. just to. Yeah. Yeah. Wanna... I think they're getting that. <laughs> uh, By I... the way, you suggested that maybe party pies would be my own tray. Yeah. And this is something I get accused of a lot, that my favorite food is party pies. I, you, I'm pretty sure you've said it on this podcast before. Well, well I, I feel that my words are always twisted in this way. I always say that I, I can eat a lot of party pies. <laughs> okay. I always say that I don't know what it is, but I can always eat a lot of party pies and I'm always in the mood for party pies. <laughs> but I've never claimed yeah. that they're my favorite food. Yeah. Though, it's pretty people do always say, isn't your favorite food party pies? Yeah, I mean, it's not that much of a stretch from what you claim already. Yeah. If you're like, I think it's I think it's a small but important distinction. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, but I like the soup idea actually. Yeah, I, I don't even what, what normally kind of, consider that. What but kind of soup would you go for? I would go for a chicken and corn soup. Mm-hmm. Actually, oh, but, yeah. but I think I would go if it's just an entree. I think I'd go like without the chicken though. Just like a corn corn soup, soup, but that same kind of like texture and stuff. Like all the same, except the chicken's just not in there. I I must say, if this was a winter meal and you're going a little heavier, I would swap the soup out for an Irish stew. Okay. A little bit mm-hmm. of potato and uh, and uh, and red meats and, and stuff yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah. that's a heavier, hearty still, meal. Yeah, yeah, that's a heavier. You, you'd only have the... a small serving of it. Yeah, yeah, because it's just an entree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, main meal. Um, so I, My guess was party pies. <laughs> <laughs> my guess was party pies for entree and main. And main, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you just have like three or four extra in the main. <laughs> 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 um, so... I went with, and it's not necessarily an, an item, but it's a it's a type of meal that incorporates a few different common things. Okay, which is I love a like barbecue, okay. like the barbecue ribs and the cornbread and the, yeah, yeah, and then like like the slow cooked chicken. Yeah, um, so I, I would have some kind of a barbecue. For instance, uh, one of the favorite restaurants I go to here in Melbourne is Le Bon Ton. It's like um, New Orleans style barbecue. Right. So I, I would have a, a some kind of barbecue spread. Have you done? Have you done uh, KBBQ? Uh, no. 
Oh, we should do that. Nelson, turn, stop, press stop for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we can do that. Um, it doesn't need to be a secret. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't have to go right now. No. Um, um, yeah, okay. Yeah, that sounds yeah right. Korean yeah, barbecue. It's like pretty much everything that you want. Yeah. It's obviously a little... I bet, and normally it is kind of that... Uh, you, you get the best of everything because it's all like small bits of meat, mm-hmm. essentially, yeah. that you like uh, right. cook in there. So, yeah, yeah, yeah I reckon yeah. you'd like that. There, this is a story that interests no one, but maybe will slightly interest you. But <laughs> okay. mainly it's for me. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I very much love my girlfriend. And one of the things that made me realize that is we were out <laughs> for barbecue. Yeah. And I always save a little bit of cornbread. Yeah, as is like a dessert to my dinner. It's, <laughs> it's my favorite bit, yeah, and I want to yeah. save a little bit. Yeah, and then as I was doing that, I looked over and I said, "Have you got a little bit of cornbread there?" She's <laughs> like, "Yeah, this is a weird thing, but I save a little <laughs> cornbread as like a dessert to my thing." I'm yeah. like, "Well, that's it, done. Then it's done, married." Yeah, <laughs> that's how that happens. Yeah. Um, okay, so for yeah, that reason, like, I mean, like best a, best thing to last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mm, good. That's mm, good. Mm, I feel like that's like sort of common, but I, the cornbread's very specific. Okay, I get yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it would be yeah, like uh, barbecue ribs and and slow cooked yeah. chicken and, and yeah, the, the, every every barbecue cliche you can think of. Okay, all right, elephant. Oof, that's yeah. weird. Yeah. Um, all right, uh, and for dessert, <sighs> I mean, obviously it's chocolate, but yeah. in what form? Well, <laughs> this is the one that stumped me the most. I, I, I could because... have guessed. I could have fucking guessed because this one would be the one that you're yeah. like, I oh my god, so many. And I have so many options. Yeah, yeah, it's it's an entire world of. Can choice. I guess like so, just one of the things that you considered? I think, I think, I'm not mm-hmm. sure, mm-hmm. but chocolate mousse. Chocolate. Yeah, I know I didn't, but but now that you've said it, <laughs> okay, yeah. I feel ashamed that I didn't. I don't know why, but I reckon there was just one time oh, that I, we were out, and you were like, "I love oh, chocolate. I want that chocolate mousse." And I, I was chocolate. like, "I'll make a mental note of that, I just in case it comes up the on the podcast." <laughs> um, the one I did consider, actually, not chocolate, is sticky date pudding. Oh, I do love a sticky bit date of an pudding. SDP. Pretty, SD, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I, I love a sticky date pudding, but you're right, chocolate. Is generally where my taste buds go yeah. every time for dessert. Would you even just go just chocolate ice cream? Just be like, that is... You know what, Nelson? Because sometimes, you know, simplicity over complexity. Just uh, chocolate and you, ice cream. You know I'm a simple man. And you are a simple man. I was never particularly into ice cream until very recently. Because oh. I, I eat ice cream now. Yeah. I buy these little wanky ice creams <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that yeah. cost way too much money. Yeah. And I really like them. Um but before then, I'm not not really a huge ice cream guy. I'd love a chocolate pud. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, or, or you know, a slice of cake. Slice of cake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's fair enough. But you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go sticky date pudding. Sticky date pudding. Yeah. Pudding. On top of meat pie, obviously. Pie On pie. top, obviously. Yeah. Three, three of them. <laughs> What's that? Will I have butterscotch pudding? Will uh, I have butterscotch sauce on my? Sauce. On my Obviously, yeah, you're one. an insane person if you have a sticky <laughs> date pudding you, without hey, just a pudding. dry sticky date pudding. <laughs> oh, God. Insane. Uh, well, thank you, Kembe, for coming to the off-menu podnapping segment. Yeah. Um, I actually, for everyone else listening, was that interesting? Was that interesting? I don't know. <laughs> also, I didn't think I finished their episode, so I don't know if they go into anything else. <laughs> That like ties we'll, it up in a nice bow. <laughs> we'll, we'll ask him on Friday. Well, we'll, <laughs> we'll check it out. We'll find out when we're doing the show. Uh, but yes, that was uh, Off Menu by James Atkins. I'm going to take that out. some other guy. Yeah. yeah. It was not like... Not great. It's not like... It's not like, oh, I really like James Acaster, so yeah. this is going to be as great as him. And it would appear... It was fine. It was fine. It would appear it's also not like, this is so good, I'm going to finish the episode. (laughs) (laughs) Well, no, I think that was more of a timing. (laughs) Right. Okay. Um, uh, But now we can get into Ask Me Anything, where listeners of the show, just like you, listener, can write in and ask us anything you want. Yes, I got one here from... uh, Where am I? Sanvi. Uh, Gentlemen, brackets, apparently. uh, (laughs) If you could have a video of any one event in your life... What event would you choose? I think I would choose Lincoln's lost speech, which is reportedly a speech Abraham Lincoln gave that was so engaging that the reporters forgot to take notes. And I want to know what he said. Uh, yes. Um, I, I feel like there's a couple. Oh, uh, yeah? And they're just, 
I just, they're just answers to conspiracies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Moon landing. Yeah. I mean, we have video oh, no, of no, that. No, 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 <laughs> not like I'm talking like Roswell, okay. whatever's in the whatever's in their thing. Or okay. this is the one I think I would choose. Yeah. The footage of whoever the other gunman was for oh. the JFK assassination. It's just just some. Oh, would but it then be? but then see, I think that could be boring, in the sense. <laughs> I mean, it depends what the video is, right? Because. Mm. This is potentially what you see when you're like, I want to, hey, Genie, you know how yeah. you said the video thing. Thanks for dinner, first of all. Thanks for dinner. That was, <laughs> that was delicious. Yeah. Uh, uh, but if I was to, uh, like, I want to see the guy who shot the thing. Like, I want to see video of that time. Yeah. So you see a guy mm-hmm. who's just setting up his gun. Yeah. It just looks like anybody or somebody <laughs> you've never met before. Yeah. And he shoots and then he goes and he smiles a little bit. Yeah. And then you're like, oh. He's like, ooh, who's that? It was another guy. <laughs> <laughs> You've probably ah, never often, seen him in history again. I often suspected that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, would it be more interesting then to have a tape like after a big event yeah. to know what was going on in that room? Like, like there must have been an FBI investigation yeah. that's withheld information. Right, yeah, That yeah. you would love to see the footage of them discussing that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that could be interesting. Could be interesting. Um, Actually, no, I take it back. Okay. The 1904 Olympic Marathon. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to watch that. That would actually be really good. That'd be great. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's mine now. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think that's it. Yeah. That would be so entertaining to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what? Battle of Troy. Yeah, sure. We'll do a double feature. That'd be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For my wish, I'll get the 1904 Olympics. Yeah. For your wish, you get the Battle of Troy. It's the Brad Pitt version. Oh, oh get... this isn't what I meant. <laughs> Didn't that battle go for like 10 years? It went for a really <laughs> long time, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's just a, hi- just a highlight reel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> important no, moments. the bit between the battle ending and the horse arriving. Yeah, yeah. Let's see that bit. Yeah, that's and all I really And it will fully explain. And then I think after that, like I want to see them infiltrate and then... Mm-hmm. Like how it's destroyed from that. Because even that seems so bizarre to me. Yeah. He's like, you just had a few men come out of a horse. Yeah. And they were like, I, they opened the gate, obviously, I guess. But they took on like everyone. Like what? How was... How well, they were st- sleeping. How did nobody... No, Everybody, you're yeah. at war. <laughs> well, no, because the war was over. They had the horse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, what, do you, actually, what do you do after a war? That's true. Have a nap. Have a nap. Yeah. So... That's probably a good point. And we can't stress this enough, Genie. It's the Brad Pitt version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want, uh, yeah, what is Achilles? Achilles. Yeah. I want Achilles to be yeah. played by Brad Pitt. Yeah, yeah. Everyone else can be whatever. Like, you don't need Eric Banner or whatever. Yeah, but yeah. But we yeah. do want Brad Pitt. I want Brad Pitt. Yeah. Um, I think this is what I've always wondered, and I want to know, and I want to see uh, this happen, mm-hmm. is uh, the person who invented, and in fact, I, I know that the um, the theory is that it was multiple people. Yeah but perhaps even from all those perspectives, is who invented the wheel. And ah. just that thought process. Mm. Like them just sort of staring at like a, 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 a smooth rock mm. that's rolling down a hill and they're like, hmm. Interesting. Hmm. And I just want to see them go from like one thing to the other because it's such a si- simple concept, but it would have been groundbreaking. Again, like the, the Battle time. of Troy, I would recommend the highlight reel. Yeah, yeah. Because that might be a process, again, of years. Not the weeks. uh, Yeah, yeah. yeah, Years of of smoothing out a rock and putting a a rod in the middle of it. (laughs) I'm sure there was like 50 years that they used like balls before it became the disc that was the wheel. Yeah, yeah. yeah, That's true. And then like putting an axle in between the wheel as well would Mm. be in its own thing. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Just the highlight. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Um, Again, the Brad Pitt version. The Brad Pitt version. <laughs> I want Brad Pitt to pay every character. <laughs> uh, but thank you, San- Sanvi. Uh, now, this one is by Cousin Rowan, but really it's by Cousin Zach. Yes, it's a series of questions we've been answering. Accurately. accurately. I just want to put in a series of questions we've been answering accurately. And with clean language. Yes. Uh, uh, so, he says, gentlemen... I suggested Zach record his final question as an audio audio bite for submission. He declined. 
as he is planning a future career working with secret agents and is concerned it will reveal his identity. Yeah, no, not, not a bad idea, Zach. Also, just generally for, and I know this is a, a while away, but your professional career, yeah. don't be associated with this show. It's very bad. Yeah. Very bad. Yeah, that's why I was that's made why redundant. <laughs> <laughs> we were going for the same joke. <laughs> uh, but uh, his name's not even Zach. Uh, fourth and final of the Zach series, AMA 78.0. Why do turtles have shells? Can we explain I mean, that? The the blue sky big version of this answer is evolution. Yes, but right. that's easy to say. Yeah, that's a really unsatisfying answer. Yeah, but I could but, say God, but, and both well, <laughs> actually have the same impact because it's just one so easy. But well, but one happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God. <laughs> um, because uh, presumably there was turtles without shells. Yes. Uh, and they were less successful they in nature. They were called turtles. Yes. <laughs> and they were less successful in nature and eventually died out. And the ones that had the gene with a shell kept breeding and then they became turtles as we know it. Yeah. Um, that's, that's, yeah, that's true. I mean, I think- <laughs> it's, I, I'm afraid it's... I know that's not a satisfying answer. I'm well aware of that. We disappoint people on the show regularly. Welcome <laughs> to the show, Zach. Uh, this might be new for you. Yeah. But... Do you have a more solid answer? Because well, it's, it's a protection mechanism. Yeah, it's yeah. For, but, it's for survival. But here's the thing, right? Yeah. So, yes, that is accurate. Yeah. But why didn't they just develop poison fangs and, and, and fight off predators? I mean, what, why the, didn't they turn? Why didn't the turtle turn into a lion? <laughs> uh, well, one is a mammal, one is a reptile. Yes, but you so, know, evolution. We all came from organisms. Yeah, yeah. We all came, essentially came from like uh, cells, very it, small things. It, it's a, it's a good question. Like, why? Why? What makes something's nature? Like yeah, a turtle yeah. is a very docile creature by nature. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't attack, so therefore it never evolved to have things that are uh, yeah. attack things, and they're like fangs or or poison or anything like that. Yeah. It, but it it evolved to be protected, whereas um like spiders or or even lions and things like that, which are more predatory in nature, evolved yeah. to have those traits. But why did they evolve in this? Right? Like what made their nature that way? I mean, who knows? Because essentially, if you if you do go on the idea of that we are, we were just like at some point tiny organisms, uh, microbes, whatever, something along those lines. That the the lion and the turtle and the human were all similar organisms mm. to some degree, and we slowly they slowly evolved in some way. And so it's like, you know, for one to become so docile early on is really, and one to be more aggressive is really like millions of changes Yeah, in, in evolution that, you know, it, it, it turtle like it naturally, you know, one didn't grow as big because it was like, well, if I just take a small size, I'm harder to see. And then one was like, oh, well, I grew, I, I'm a little bit bigger, but I'm faster so that I can run away from stuff. And then the turtle was like, well, I'm still, I mean, it's not consciously making these decisions. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but it, I think it is, it, my point is, I think this is a really interesting question. Yeah. And I think all of Zach's questions have been very interesting yeah. because- on like a, uh, and I was talking to Cousin Rowan about this the other day, actually. And uh, because essentially there's just like tons of stuff that we sort of take for granted mm. when we, you know, just in everyday life and and just the concept of like, where, how, how is wind form? What is the concept of wind? Yeah. And it's like, I don't know, it's just always there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's interesting to think about these things and like how, how you know, evolution is such an interesting one because it's been so far and evolution, you know, like the fact that a turtle got a shell is really because of like accident, essentially. Yeah. It's like the difference it, because then you could compare different turtles, right? It's like a snapping turtle. Mm-hmm. And they obviously de- developed like a, a jaw and that like pointy, snappy snap to 
break open different like fruits and or whatever the if they eat you know to like crush it into that but other turtles maybe not so much mm. so why the giant tortoise grow so big so the yeah yeah it's just like you know the the, the slight differences between one and the other is because both parts have been successful in their own way the late there's like um uh those points where their their uh, physiology changes and yeah, yeah I, th- I think it's so interesting. So it's a good, I think it's a good, qu- it seems like more of a simple question, but then when you really think about it, it's like far more complex and yeah. interesting to think and, about and, how and things are the way they are. The fascinating thing about evolution is a turtle is as evolved as you. You might yeah. think that humans are more evolved because we've got, you know, telecommunications and in like uh, uh, buildings and, and we talk and we drive and, but a turtle is as evolved as you are. It just doesn't, it didn't require any of that to live a successful life. Yeah. So it, it is, it is stay where essentially it is. Intel- intelligence is like our evolutionary trait. Yeah. You know? It's like our upshoot of, of evolution for us is we yeah. needed intelligent because yeah. we are, so we could create a weapon to we, hunt or <laughs> yeah. We're not great at a lot of things that animals are naturally good at, like hunting or, yeah. or scavenging and things like that. But our intelligence was such that we could kind of hmm. survive in that way. And a turtle is the best version of a turtle ever because it is the one that is around. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Why doesn't it have a hard bit on the bottom of its shell? Why is that soft? Hmm? They've, oh, they've done it wrong. Mm-hmm. I said it was the best version, but I forgot the one that has the hard bit the at the bo- bottom. The hard bit at the bottom too. <laughs> Can't get well. Pierced I, I, I by tell a I very tell small a, scorpion. I tell a lie, Zach. A turtle is the second best version. The yeah. best version is actually a teenage mutant ninja they turtle. They are the bloody best. Yeah, because they they they've got all the human stuff as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They love pizza. They they use weapons. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and they got taught by that old man who's a rat. Yeah, that was weird. But also <laughs> maybe it was the old seventy four year old guy. Oh yeah. Maybe in the today I learned it didn't mention that he was actually <laughs> he was a, a rat. rat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, that's it. Thank you for writing in, Zach. And thank you, Sanvi, for writing in. Uh, we really appreciate it. Yeah. If you'd like to write into us, you can do so. Reddit podcast, R E A D I T podcast at gmail.com. You can also reach us at Facebook, at Twitter, and our subreddit. They're all R E A D I T podcast. Uh, and if you could rate the show yep. uh, on iTunes, and I know everybody doesn't really think to do that. They're like, oh, whatever, but just do it. All yeah. Right? yeah. And no, t- hang on, we'll wait. If you don't, right, yeah, that's true. It doesn't, doesn't take a long time, does it? Does it? I thought it takes a little bit longer. I would just give them a little bit longer. You kind of just go back in your podcast app, hit subscribe, and then you're back in the episode. Okay. We've, gi- we've given them time, Nelson. What, oh, yeah, what okay. else do they need? Oh, well, maybe they want to write a review. Oh, yeah, hang on. Just give them time for that. Yeah, it's probably yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're probably not going to write paragraphs. Are they? <laughs> Just the word "good" is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah good. Um, and if you could uh, tell a friend, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd well, be hang good on, too. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> um, and thanks for listening. We will read you later.